Well, I think whenever you're on a good run, um, you want the games to keep keep coming thick and fast, which obviously they have been. Um, you sort of you get that momentum where you just everyone's in in a good place, which I think that's what we've seen. But um, as you said, unfortunately that that run sort of came to an end on Saturday. Um, I think not through lack of trying. I think um, you know give credit to to the lads. I think since the second half, everyone kept going. Um, tried to get that equaliser, which which would have changed the game. I think um, would have just given us that that extra lift. But um, I think credit to them. They defended well. Keepers made some good saves, and sometimes you get them sort of games. But um, the good thing. Uh, having Saturday, Tuesday, it, it gives us that opportunity to sort of try and put that to bed now. Look at how good that run was, but equally look forward now and um, look at starting to build a new one. Absolutely. And what are you expecting Colchester to bring tomorrow? I mean, in the past, we've had some very tough challenges with them. You know, we obviously had that win in the playoffs last season as well, but a lot yeah. of, we've had a lot of very close games over the last few years with them. Yeah, I think it'll be very similar. I think as their, their team's pretty similar from what they had last year so um, from that point of view it'll be pretty settled they'll, they'll, they'll be used to each other um, so that they'll have the same sort of expectations I think as as what they had last season so um, it's going to be uh, another tough game um, I think it's one that we, we've got to make sure that everybody's sort of tuned in and, 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 and making sure they're focused on their individual jobs because um, otherwise it, it'll turn into a, a tough game um, I'm sure They'll have spoken about how their sort of season finished last last season. Um, so we, we, we've got to expect that, um, whether they're going to try and look at it as sort of trying to get a bit, a bit of redemption or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm sure that'll be in, in the back of a few of their players' minds. So that's something else that we've, we've got to be ready for and um, make sure that we, we start the game well, um, get a foothold in the game and make sure we do all, all, all the things we've been doing over the last couple of months or so. Um, that, that, that's guys in this position. I mean, and you've had a short spell out with injury recently, but are you back to full fitness now? Yeah, yeah, I feel fine. Um, obviously, it's always frustrating when you're injured. Um, that's part and parcel of football, really. You, you sort of you get knocks, strains, what, what, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's it's nice that it wasn't too serious, um, and I'm sort of back in the fall now, which which I think is healthy for everybody. Um, I think all along, if you can have as much competition as possible for places, it, it keeps that sort of that that momentum going, that that drive that everybody's that everybody's got. Whereas sometimes I think you find if there's not too much competition, that can get a, a little bit complacent, um, which is exactly what we don't want. And as you've seen, um, the, the the younger lads that have sort of stepped up this season. Um, um, that uh, combined with the, the lads that, that are already here, it's, it's a really good mix and, and, and everyone's showing that everyone uh, can contribute, whether it's from the start of the game coming on or coming in, whether it's through an injury suspension or something like that. I guess that's really important right now considering we've got a few injury problems with um, you know, Lewis Page, Josh Key and Tom Parks all having knocks at the moment that those players are ready and we're, you know really chomping at the bit to come and play. Yeah, that's it. And I think you, you can only manage that yourself. I know that the staff will try and put as, as many sessions on as possible, but when you're sort of not playing games, I think it's important that you, you try and look after yourself. You sort of do all the right things. It's it's easy just to sort of put the put sort of like the gym work or the little bits of running that you might have to do you, you sort of you might get a bit down with it which which is fair enough I get everybody's frustrated but um, it's probably with them, them them small details that when you are called upon that, that they'll be the ones that'll, that they'll sort of get you so sort of on on the pitch and um, if, if it's the ones that, that keep you in the team um, obviously that's where everybody wants to be and we're currently 13 games into the league season. I mean, how happy are you with the start we've made? I mean, basically, you know, Matt was sort of keen to um, sort of, you know, manage people's expectations at the start. They might be a bit of a transitional season, but it seems yeah. to be a pretty good one. Yeah, it's been a good start. Um, as you said, um, the, the, the young lads that have come in have, have all done really well. Um, I, I don't think um, anybody could look at them and say that they've, that they, they've not contributed um, equally. It's important that, that the lads that, that were here last year and uh, obviously myself and Paige and Jake and a couple of others who've, 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 who've joined, that they help and, and make sure that we contribute as well. Um, it has been a good start, but I think from from our point of view, um, a couple of the draws 
that we've had if if we could have just just t- mm-hmm. turn them into a, a, a couple of wins here and there, we'd we, we'd be a little bit higher, and I think that's the sort of the standards that that we've got as a group as well. Um, as as good as as, as the start has been, um, it, it it could be better. Obviously, um, we are happy with, with, with where we are, but if if we if we if there's any negatives, I think from from the players' point of view, we've we've sort of said if if we can just just tw- t- turn a couple of them draws into wins. An extra four points here and there, and come the end of the season, that might be just that tiny little bit that, that gets you over the line or just pushes you into the top three. Absolutely. I mean, one thing you probably weren't expecting at the start of the season was not to be playing in front of Lewis or Johnny. Um, I mean, how have you found y- Yoko? I mean, he seems to fit in really well and he seems to be quite a good character. Yeah, he has. He's, he's, he's come in and he's done great. I think no matter who you are, when you sort of chucked him at the deep end as, as he's been um, picked up on, on the way to. Um, the late and orange game, I think it was, um, picked up on on the way and starting your first game in a, with a group of lads who who, who you've never met. Um, I think it shows a, a lot about his character as well and and, and how he sort of approached that. Um, and again, it's just one of them things in football. Injuries happen. Um, obviously, you don't quite expect it to happen to both your goalkeepers at the same time. I think it shows how, how unlucky they probably uh, both have been, but. Um, Jay's come in and he's, he's settled in really well. I think his character's helped that, and I think it helps that the lads have, have, have helped him uh, settle in as well. Um, and Josh Key has recently said that it's really been beneficial to him having the likes of yourself and Parksy there to sort of mentor them, him through matches. Um, I mean, is that side of the game that you enjoy as well, passing down your experience? Yeah, it is. I think I, I remember when when I was in in in, in like their position um, I had a few older lads who, who helped me and um, it does help massively it doesn't necessarily just have to be the football side of it whether it's something off the pitch or just how, how he might go about something in, in the gym or just sometimes taking it easy a little bit I think um, when when lads are playing games they, week in week out and they're still trying to do things at 100 mile an hour I think sometimes just, just concentrate on the games a little bit let them take care of yourself and just let yourself settle down and, and, and enjoy it. And I think that's that, that's shown how, how well they've done. And as you said, I, I, for Josh to have played the games he's played and the standards that he's set, and people say it's not really his, his number one position, I, I've, I still can't can't believe it. It's, I think it just shows how, how well he's done. He's, he's settled into that position. It, it looks like he's, he's made for it. He can get up and down. He's quick. He can jump, and he's he's, he's showing all all the right attributes to, to to want to play there. And um, I think it would have been easy for for not him because that's not his character, but for a player to just chuck the toys out of the prime if they're not playing in in a position where that's not where where they want to play. And it just shows the sort of attitude he's got and what he's done. And hopefully, he'll keep moving forward, keep progressing, and and, and keep being as consistent as he has been.